Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make custom shapes and regular type shapes and edit them using Photoshop 2023 and how you would maybe use those in your projects. So here I have a few different techniques that I'm going to show you such as a pink stroke, how you can add a stroke around the edge of your shape, how to make perfect circles, perfectly straight lines and drop shadows. Okay, down the left hand side you will be able to find your um, shape options, your shape tool. Um, I'm going to start with a rectangle, so click on the rectangle and I'm going to click and drag it on. To change the fill colour of my shape, I go up to the fill up in the top toolbar here, click on the blue box, and then I have access to lots of different types of colours like pastels and lights, or I can go into my um, colour wheel, colour picker or fill colour, whatever you want to call it, and I can choose any colour that I want from there, um, whatever colour I desire, so I'm going to click on that one, press OK. To get rid of this little properties box, I'm going to click back onto that uh, rectangle colour there um, and now it's disappeared. Next to it is the stroke. Stroke is adding a, like a border if you like around your shape. At the minute it's set to one pixel. I'm going to make that bigger. So I'm going to make that 15. Press enter so it's set and it's defaulted to black but I can change that if I go into the stroke option there and again I can choose different colours from all the different options, um, whatever colour that takes my fancy. So I'm going to click on that. So now if I want to move the shape around I obviously use the uh, move tool to click and drag it but if I wanted to edit the shape again and um, I've just clicked and dragged it using the move tool if I wanted to edit it again you can see that my fill and my stroke options have disappeared I have to re-click onto the shape tool down here for those to come back visible so if you can't find your options that might be why so always make sure that you are on the shape tool when you want to edit your shape okay the next thing I want to show you how to do is to add a drop shadow and to do that we need to go over to the layers panel um, on the layer there you can see my layer with my rectangle in double click on the layer but make sure you don't click double click on the text or this little image double click here where there's a space and there's nothing there it takes a couple of seconds for the um, layer properties box to come up and there are lots of things that you can do in here have a play around with them once I show you how to make a drop shadow have a little play with the others to see what other cool things you can do um, but I'm going to show you drop shadow so I'm going to tick drop shadow but I must also click where it says drop shadow. You can see it's now gone gray. And it, this bit here then becomes active for the drop shadow. So I can do things like change the angle of the shadow. I can change the distance, how far away it is from the shape, the spread. I can do all sorts of different things. I can even change the color of the shadow if I wanted to by setting the shadow color there. And again, have a look through these. There are so many cool things like um, having a satin effect, color overlay, bevel and emboss makes it look a bit 3D have a little play then press ok so I now have a shape with a shadow and a stroke I'm now going to go back into my shapes again I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to choose the ellipse tool so the ellipse tool makes circles but if you drag that straight on you you'll make a shape that has um, it's not a, it's not a, a perfect circle so you need to click on shift and click to create perfect circles and again if I go back into the shapes tool down here and click on line if I want to make a perfectly straight line, I click shift and then click. I will then make perfectly straight lines. The next thing I want to show you is the click and drag is the custom shape tool. So click on custom shapes and go up here. I've only got a few custom shapes in mine. I've got leaves, trees, animals, boats and flowers. You may have more on yours. You can install more custom shapes. I'll show you that in another video. Um, but you simply just click through. Um, and you grab whatever shape that you want and just drag it on and it will create a, a shape of the shape. This was the shape of a lion. Okay, final thing I'm going to show you is how to use some shapes in projects. So for example, I've got a project here where I want to write on this blue bit, but I wanted to see through it so I could still see the image. I've just used a rectangle shape with a black stroke, but I did something cool with it and I made it a bit transparent. So I'm going to click on the layer that the shape is in you can see there the rectangle shape and you can see that I've set the opacity to 52% I can raise that higher so it's less see-through or I can make it lower so that it's more see-through so you can add um, shapes and make them a bit transparent so that you can see through them but you can also see that my shape has been rotated which is another important thing you need to be able to do with shapes so you must make sure that your shape is selected not just with the point not just with the move tool okay so not just with the move tool you must make sure that it's selected with the the shape tool here you can see that it's now got these handles on it and when it's got those handles on it 
when you put your casing sort of just away from that corner handle can you see it turns to a, a curvy arrow you can then click and drag that and rotate it round. so that's how you will rotate a shape to rotate the shape you need to make sure that you've selected it again and that this tool is active if you unactivate that so if i click on the move tool can you see that the that move arrows have disappeared i'm not able to now move it so you must make sure it's selected in here too and now my sort of movie handles are there and i can drag, click and drag them around final thing that you need to know about shapes is how to save them if you wanted to use them on another project in photoshop so here i have a shape with a black stroke and some text in the middle if i want to use this on one of my other projects i'm going to need to save this as a png with a transparent background so to do that i go over to my layers panel and i want to get rid of that white background layer so i click on it if there's got a little um padlock symbol make sure you want tick the padlock symbol and then simply press delete on your keyboard that has now got a transparent background I want to crop this now so that it's just around the edge of that circle. I go into my three dots if my crop tool is not visible and I find it from my list. Um, so I've got crop tool visible there now. You might need to search for yours. And then you simply drag in the edges so that it meets up almost to the edge of the circular shape or whatever shape you're creating. And once you're happy that you've got most of that Excess, excess background gone you can press enter and now it should be just the circle and a simple transparent background to save the transparent background you need to save it as a png a png so export export as a png otherwise it won't save the transparent background you can then open that onto your other projects and it will have a transparent background you'll be able to place that circle um, or whatever shape it is wherever you want it to be on your other projects okay everybody have fun!